and we are not live not live this is pre-recorded so time travel you are seeing me in the future because I had said and I'm gonna stick to it that I'm gonna make some pre-recorded content and I'm gonna set it to release on the days that I am taking vacation vacation true true vacation cuz we're gonna be resorting it up and what I decided to go with because I'm currently streaming Tears of the Kingdom and Pikmin 3, I'm going to take on Pokemon Unite because my fellow content creator and subscriber, Teddy Styles, suggested it to me and he said it was multiplayer and I told him, hey, we should play it together and have that be, if you're cool with it, have that be my content that I pre-record and set to release whenever um, I'm on vacation vacation, the days I'm, the consecutive days I'm not gonna be streaming. And he said cool, but he told me that the beginning of it, you can't multiplayer it because the, four, the first like four to five levels, I guess, you have to get through. It's like the tutorial basically, you have to get through that. So I'm recording it now and this is gonna be the first video. So you should be seeing this on the 30th of June. So I'm planning to stream, even though on the day that I fly out, because I have an evening flight, so I'm planning on streaming for a little bit the morning of. So, because this is the first time I've ever played this game, I'm not planning on the karaoke that nobody asked for. I do need to somewhat relatively focus on it. And, um... I'm not going to be skipping stuff because I obviously I got to see it all the first time I've ever seen it. Then there will be game commentary if I have any and also my rants. And I have a rant today. I have a rant today with regards to the passport situation. So, sweet child passport expires the day after we're supposed to fly. So, I had to renew it before we flew. I went and did everything I needed to do two months before we we're supposed to fly out. The passport has yet to arrive. And we're essentially going on vacation in a week. My issues is that when I applied, I paid the extra money for expedited. And I was told that the wait was five to seven weeks for expedited, if you paid for expedited. And I'm like, okay, cool, that's safe because I don't fly out for like, eight weeks so I am safe however the website for passport doesn't give me any good information that I could confidently say it will definitely be here on time it just says that it has been received and it's being processed that's the status that you get from like a week after they receive it and they received it May 11th they received it two days after I submitted it and um, they say if you're flying within two weeks and you haven't received your passport and you paid for expedited and there's nothing on the website that's saying like, yeah, you're going to get it on time. They give you an application number and they give you a phone number. They say, call this phone number with your application number. And I've been calling the number that I've been calling everything ready. And every time I call, either it's busy or it goes through the process of directing me to where I need to go, like press one if you need this, press two if you need these, these. <laughs> and when I get to the end of the things that I need, it says they're experiencing longer than normal call volume and to try again. And I have been trying again and again and again, and I've not been able to get a human being to talk to me about what I need to do since I paid like almost $200 to get this passport and passport card on time for my flight. And I have made plans in Dominican Republic off of the basis of when I'm going to be arriving. So I'm frustrated. I'm not reading it. 
Oh, you're going to make me go into it. Great. I'm not actually going to read it. I'm going to scroll fast. I'm scrolling faster than it could load. Cool. Except now I got to the end and it won't let me like... Do I have to click on anything? Is that why? Okay. Um, doesn't seem like there's anywhere I need to click. Do I just hit back? Oh, okay. Operator error. Oh wait, do does that mean that I don't have to like re I could just go back and Oh yeah, okay, cool. Now we know. Okay. So what I think I'm going to do Do I have Pokemon Trainer Club? I might. Let's try it. I don't think I have it on my phone right now, actually. I think I deleted it. It's kind of loud. I'm gonna down the music a little bit. See, it's, it's cleaned up pretty far. So, I have to keep calling and keep calling and keep calling. If I mute the microphone at any moment, it's because I'm getting contact with someone. Alright, hold on guys. No, oh, y'all don't need to know my specific date of birth. We're not that close yet. You don't get in early on these things. You don't get the opportunity to um, pick exactly the name that you want. You gotta pick from what's left. I think this looks the most likely.
And the thing that bothers me, all of it bothers me, but one of the things that bothers me is the fact that they say the best time to call is in the afternoon. So I've been calling in the afternoon. And guess what has been irrelevant? The fact that I've been calling in the afternoon. And yesterday, I think it was while I was on stream, I went ahead and processed the addition of insurance to my ticket because on the off chance that I have to cancel it, I'm going, I'm, I'm going to go on vacation regardless. But if I don't know when the passport is arriving, I can't just change my flight. Like I can't just reschedule the flight if I don't know when the passport's gonna arrive. So there exists the minuscule chance that I'll have to cancel the flight, and then once we know when it's going to arrive, or it does arrive, we go ahead and then get a new flight, then, you know, with the active knowledge of when we'll actually have the passport. And changing a flight would, wouldn't require insurance, but... The, if it needs to be a cancellation, that's where I need to, like, have more security. just really easy. <laughs> okay, so now I have to fight. Okay. Okay, so I could do... These are extra things that I could do? Let's see. Oh, do I have to go back here every time? Or can I just do the battles and the catches? Okay. How dare you slap me like that? How dare you? set up for anybody to not do okay, but, uh, ZL, once you unite move, gauge charges to 100%, you can unleash your super strong unite move, okay. Looks like an opposing war turtle is defending the cold zone, you have to defeat the war turtle. Pokemon from the opposing team, it may drop some energy it was carrying. Be sure to pick it up. Okay.
five on five unite battle with some other trainers. Okay. You know, I never even looked up what's the purpose of this game. Like, what is the... What is the direction of this game? Here covers okay. Cool. 
run away, Pikachu, run away. Is there any way to make the HP recover faster? Defeating Zapdos makes it easier for your team to score. Is my team moving towards the center? Am I just permanently knocked out? Can I not come back at all? This one's gonna be a little bit hard, this game, to me. Um, because I'm gonna need to like, I'm gonna need a lot of focus. And a lot of, like, comfort. Yes, return to the main menu. I got kind of a feel for it, but I'm still struggling with knowing the buttons and everything like that. I'm gonna need a lot more practice. Oh no, which Unite license should I take? Hold on. I need to phone a friend. I'm sure they're, it's, a, it's standard, but I'll still send them a picture. This delays a little bit of progress on the video, but like, I don't want to arbitrarily pick whatever. doesn't even tell me anything about it. Like, how am I supposed to know? Is this the Pokemon that I'm gonna get? Oh, he saw it. I don't know. I don't even know what this Pokemon is. And I don't know what this one's name is. Charizard Pikachu. No. Snorlax. I said Slowpoke. Oh, look at me. That's how good I am at Pokemon. Hashtag, I'm not good at Pokemon. Snorlax. I just called Snorlax Slowpoke. Man, I'm sorry. I mean, y'all are both land whales, but still. And lazy. But you look nothing alike. So, apologies. I don't even know what this guy is. I don't know what this one is either. Tell me which one I should pick. Ants. How dare they. Anyone is decent but keep it true cause 
it needs a buff. I like Charizard. Or Talon Flame. Okay, so they're all decent except Peep Pikachu because he needs a buff and he likes Charizard or Talon Flame. I'm guessing this is Talon Flame? Well, which one does he have? They're both flying. Judging by their names, it seems that they're both do fire, so... Which one do... I mean, Charizard is a classic. Charizard's a classic. Eeny, meeny, miny, miny, mo, mo, catch up, flyer, violet, toe, toe, if he shakes you off, let him go, go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, toe. It was this one. I guess. He says he has almost all the characters. Difficulty is a novice. Attack, melee, and speedster. Oh, he's been playing for two years. I oh, will take the talent card. So I guess you gotta click on it to see the information for it. Share? What do I share it to? Save and share? Okay. Um, oh. My accounts aren't linked, so... Go back. Okay. I see that your training level increased after your last battle. You can get commemorative gifts from the battle... The Unite Battle Committee whenever your trainer level increases. Press X to open the trainer menu. Okay, X. Here you can check your trainer level and commemorative gifts for reaching each level. Press A to claim reward. should do. Go, go for a walk. Let's go for a walk, Evie. Can I score 20? I can try it. I, mean, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Do you buy stuff on this game? Oh, like a membership and so you pay and then you can Get bonuses from paying? 
So it's free to play, but you can pay to make yourself better. These are outfits. Okay. Why, why would I want an, an outfit? I mean, I guess some people like that kind of stuff. Maybe I'd like it eventually. I don't know what's happening. He does look quite knightly. Is this trying to convince you to like buy Pokemon? Oh, this is just like a little video? Battle passes? Okay. As long as I get it for free. Okay, what's events? Check. Oh, I already got that? Okay. And then... What are the daily missions? I can... I claim that? Okay. Um. Okay. download it on my phone. Yeah, but I don't think I'll download it on my phone, because if I download it on my phone, then, like, um, if I download it on my phone, I won't be recording the gameplay. a lot of things to claim when you first start with the game. I'm wondering if um, here, would it be here? Well, controller's good. So that'll help me try to figure some stuff out. I'll do that offline though. Pokemon Trainer Club. Yeah, that's the one I need to check what I've got going on in Pokemon Trainer Club. Um, I don't need to change the language. Everything's good there. And then mail. Do I get something? Do I get a reward? Oh, I got. I did get something. And here, I get nothing. I get letters, words, 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 word salad. I get that one. Leafeon doesn't um, stand out as much. And my frame options. Uh, I guess I'll keep this for now. 
save. Fair play points? What's this? I, I don't know what that is, but okay. I mean, I'll take the point. Why would I want to change my language? I'm going to keep it in English. But I do want to get rid of all the little dots that say things that I can do. Okay, so... Um... Tournament events, shops, battle pass. Um, unite club membership. Friends. Friend search. Got it. Alright, that's the last thing I wanted to do for this video. I'm going to add him as my friend, and then I'm going to go do some more adulting type things, and then I am going to... Oh, ah, Nails arrived. After I deal with the adulting type steps, I'm going to log on for one Pikmin short stream. I think I'm going to do two days, and, and that stream, and then do a Tears of the Kingdom stream. And then this, I'm going to go with this uh, kind of the way that I do my live streams. And I'm, I'm not going to be concerned about editing. Actually, what I'm going to do is immediately after I finish, I'm going to... Um, upload this on both Rumble and YouTube. So rumble.com slash Ines and YouTube at MNJ Do Everything. And they will be releasing... Um, I think 2 p.m. June 30th is what I'm going to set them for, so uh, today is not that day. Today is just the day that I started recording this new situation. So since y'all probably don't really care about seeing this, and you're going to see his trainer ID eventually because we are going to multiplay probably on Thursday, and I'll record that and pre-record that and put it, you know, to be released on like the 1st and 2nd and 3rd of July you'll see the trainer IDs that I add on, so this is kind of irrelevant to do right now. Um, put this, pop this screen up and finish talking. So I'm going to go ahead and add some trainer IDs. I know that my niece probably sees this, so I'm gonna add her, and I'm gonna add Teddy's uh, trainer ID, and probably Thursday of this week, I'll be recording some more content. Um, I do apologize if it's a little bit slow paced because I have I need a very large learning curve. I don't normally play Pokemon games and I don't know other than Pokemon Go and I, I've never heard of this game. I'd never interacted with it. I'd never even really looked at videos about it. So um, yeah, these are going to kind of be exclusive to YouTube and Rumble. So again, on YouTube, MNJ do everything on Rumble, rumble.com slash Natalia Ines, and I will see you guys on the next pre-recorded video. This has been interesting, and I will be uncharacteristically Hispanic and say goodbye after just one goodbye. See y'all on the next one.